Today we're going to take you on a cake delicious journey, showing you some fantastically artistic recipes, from cake pop designs of your favourite cartoon characters or animals to show stopping giant cupcake designs, perfect for any special occasion, from an avocado to a lion, a melon, cookie monster, panda, and your favourite cartoon characters. From there, we're going to go on over to Italy and show you a traditional Italian dessert with a twist panna cotta animal desserts. And last but certainly not least, we've got Kinder Cup Surprise. So, let's get started. Starting with fantastic pony design cake pops. We're going to do nice bright colours by melting white chocolate and putting food colouring in it. You can use whichever colours you like, but we're using these ones. You just get some popsicle moulds, fill them half with the melted chocolate, stick them in the fridge or freezer to chill. While they're chilling, you make your cake mixture and just stick it in, put in a nice pop stick and then pour the rest of your melted white chocolate over the top so that your cake is sandwiched in between the white chocolate. Yep, it really is that easy. Now comes the fun part. Chill them once more and Bob's your uncle. Or should I say, Pop's your uncle. Now here comes the fun part. If you turn them over, you'll find the other side to be totally smooth, ready for decorating. Doing your gorgeous animal characters, in this case we're doing ponies, but really, you can do anything you like. What is your favourite character or animal? Maybe your kids love My Little Pony, in which case this would be perfect for their birthday party. Next we're going to show you one for the lads, or girls, who knows? These cake pops are going to be cute little dinosaurs and we're using a red velvet cream cheesecake filling this time. The great thing about these is you can be so creative. You can be creative with your colours, creative with your design. You don't have to use white chocolate if you want. You could just use dark chocolate perhaps. You're going to make a grizzly bear or something like that. Also use fondant icing to cover them if you want to make it a different colour rather than food colouring and melted chocolate. And also the filling, you know, we're using red velvet flavoured filling in this one, or you can use plain vanilla sponge cake, maybe chocolate, maybe even mint or orange or strawberry. You can even put jam in them. So we're just using fondant icing to make these really cute dino features. These will definitely bring out the artist in you. I'm sure the kids are going to love it. And the great thing is too, they'll get involved. Next we're going to show you some cute cupcake decoration ideas. You won't believe how easy it is to make these. You just need some buttercream icing, like gallons of it. Or if you prefer something other than buttercream icing, like a, a lighter, healthier option, you could use marshmallow cream icing, or even cream cheese is quite a popular one now because it's got less calories, I believe. So anyway, you get some cupcakes, you can pre-make them, they're so easy to make cupcakes, it takes like half an hour and the kids would love helping out in the kitchen making these. They absolutely love doing this baking and feeling that sense of achievement. Or if you haven't got much time or let's say it's a surprise for a birthday party, you can just buy cupcakes pre-made from the store. So you completely coat it in your buttercream icing which you've coloured as per your design and then use fondant icing for finishing touches. There we have an avocado. Next we're doing an orange design. Let's see if you can guess what it is. Let's think. It's an animal that may be related to a pet that you might have in your home, but much, much bigger. They are orange and yellow. They have a mane, lots of hair, and they make a mighty roar. They're the king of the jungle. Did you guess who it is yet? 
it's a lion! That's right, we're using two different coloured oranges here, two different shades. A bright dark orange and a pale orange, yellowy orange. So you can see your lion's mane apart from the face. Using black buttercream icing is a really good idea if you want to just border things off and separate them out. It makes colours really stand out as well. And then fondant icing for your facial features. There you go. It's just so easy. Food colouring galore. You can also use natural methods to colour. So if you don't really want to use food colourings which may have some chemicals in, then you can choose fruits and vegetables to change the colour, like turmeric makes things a really bright yellow colour. You can use beetroot to get red colour, or even red cabbage is a great one. You might have noticed that these days in kids' sweets, you'll see natural flavourings and colouring on the ingredients which are written on the packet. And quite often you'll see uh, fruits and vegetables that have been used for the flavouring and the sweetening and the colour. Jelly sweets, for example. So here we have a gorgeous watermelon. Perhaps it'll be great for a garden summer party. And the great thing is you can just pull apart like that. You don't even need to slice. It's really perfect for kids because you don't need a knife and I'm sure it won't last too long. All gone. They're gonna love pulling apart that animal too. Oh, what fun. Let's have his ear. Oh, and an eye. Oh, and his tail. Gone. Now, if you wanna get your kids to be interested in healthy things like avocados, then this is a quite a good idea too. Healthy fruits and vegetables you could do as cupcakes. Now, when we use food colouring in buttercream icing or any kind of icing which is kind of white or at least pale, then we're going to want to use a lot of it. For example, we're making black. So when you mix black with white, we get grey, don't we? So we want to use an awful lot to get it black. Now, if you don't have food piping bags to hand, it's really simple. All you need to do is get a food prep bag, you know, like a food storage bag, which you can buy from the supermarket. They're really cheap. And then just fill it with your buttercream icing, different colour in each one, and then just snip off the end. If you want a wide nozzle to cover a large surface area of your cakes, snip off a bit further up. And if you just want to have a thin nozzle to do, say, delicate features or maybe the borderline, then you just snip off a tiny bit off the tip. But these food piping bags are also really easy to purchase off the internet. And if you get really interesting nozzles, you can make cool effects. Like, for example, this cookie monster has got lots of hair because we've got a serrated edge nozzle there. This is a great tip that if you get an ice cream scoop and just scoop on your buttercream icing, one scoop for each cupcake, then use a spatula to spread it all out, then it's nice and evenly covered, nice and quick to do. Oh, we got a cute panda here. Now, if you wanted to be really creative, you could set it on a display board or, you know, platter and then surround it with, say, sweetie bamboo or leaves, even edible leaves. You could even make mini versions around it, so have some separate cupcakes as well as your giant cupcake design with a similar design on each. Maybe some baby pandas. Here we're making a fantastically bright cartoon character. Using cookie cutters and cocktail sticks to mark out facial features is a great thing to do. See here we've got a thin nozzle because we want to do a border for the eyes and it's a bit delicate. So you can use super bright colours if you want it to really stand out. Your kids will love it. Why not let them have a go? They could do the spreading with the spatula. We're using buttercream for this one to make the features, but before we were using fondant icing. Poker gone. Panda.
monster gone? Cookie monster gone. Next, we're going to show you how to make animal panna cotta. So panna cotta is a traditional Italian dessert using whipped cream and gelatine to thicken it up like a mousse, obviously sugar to sweeten it. We're going to do this with a twist because we're going to make these cute desserts which would be perfect for the kids or even the big kids. So we pour it through a sieve because we don't want to get any little bits in it. We want it nice and smooth. Add your food colourings depending on which animals you'd like to make. Do you have a favourite animal? Hmm, I wonder what these will be. Anyway, you refrigerate them for half an hour because you want them to set, then you can start decorating using things like candy, chocolate buttons and melted chocolate in a piping bag to do your facial features. If you use white chocolate, you can colour it like before to make your desired colour. We've got orange here for a beak dark chocolate for the eyes. You can even use edible ink. Chocolate buttons, Smarties. Be creative. Any sweets, any candies, any chocolates you've got lying around or that you can easily find in the store, you can use for facial features. And there you've got it. So cute. Delicious too. Now we're going to show you a show-stopping dessert. So easy to make. It's a Kinder Cup. We're using the famous chocolate bar, Kinder. All kids love a Kinder, right? Now we can put it in a dessert. We're going to crumble it into some cream whipped up. The kids are going to love this because when they dig into it, they're going to get all these little crunchy bits mixed in. We add the favourite Nutella to that. Or you can also use a cheaper option. You can just get, you know, chocolate spread from the store. Independent supermarket brands are usually cheap, which is pretty good. Now, if you add some cocoa powder to that, you can make it darker and richer chocolate flavoured. So you can experiment with how much cocoa powder to use with each one, depending on the deepness of the colour and the strength of the chocolate flavour you want. Be careful with this one for the kids though, because they might have a bit of a caffeine fix. They might go caffeine crazy. It's this easy, you just pipe it into your glass, or a bowl. It's basically a mousse-like texture. Like a layered, multi-dimensional chocolate mousse. Dark chocolate, light chocolate. You could even use white chocolate. You could layer it with chunks of chocolate. You could add in chocolate chips. You could even hide some Kinder Bar in each layer. Let's say it's Easter. You could do an Easter version with Easter eggs on it. For Valentine's Day, you could do it heart-shaped. Just pipe on heart shapes with your food piping bag. Be creative. Maybe some wafers. Maybe some sponge fingers. A dash of cocoa powder. And stick a whole Kinder Bueno bar in it. Just like a straw. Ooh, too good to eat. Well, maybe just a little taste. Yum!